Hello. Good day. I would like to talk a little about prayer. Most of the time, grown-ups or adults, they see prayer as a weakness. They see prayer as a coward, a mark of cowardice. No, it shouldn't be. Prayer is part of your genetic and spiritual makeup. You are partly physical, partly spiritual. Prayer connects you to the spiritual part of your reality. And it could help you direct your physicality or the corporate. Great men pray, great women pray. You don't need to be officially religious, but it's very important to have personal contact with the source, with the source of your reality, with the source of your being, with the source of your truth. Some call this entity God. Some call Alpha, Chuku, Oluwa, Allah, Almighty, whatever you call. Some call Supreme Force. But please, make out time, no matter what you're doing in life, to have one-on-one -on -one contact with your, with your spiritual source. Doing this will help you to overcome the serpents in life. It will help you to curtail the atrocities coming your way. It will help you to dodge the arrows of wickedness, spiritual and physical arrows. It will help you to have serenity, to help you to have emotional balance. It can even help your emotional intelligence. The spiritual are highly cerebral. The spiritual are relatively very intelligent. Because what is happening in the physical comes from the spiritual. Yeah. Man is a spiritual entity habiting this physical body. Once the spirit is gone, this body is useless. This is the hardware. This body is the hardware. But the spirit is the software. Relatively, life could be seen as a computer. You can't operate the hardware without the software. Trying to do that, like trying to hit your head on the wall, is like walking without direction. It's walking like you're going blindly. No. So prayer is very important in the life of the genius, in the life of the deep thinker, in the life of the creative in the life of the resourceful. Make our time to pray. Commune, communicate with your creator. Be in good terms with your creator. It's very, very important. I'm saying this to successful people. People that have succeeded in various, you know, spheres of human endeavor. The lawyers, the doctors, the engineers, the teachers, those in the military, the Air Force, the Navy, the Army. You know? Our Navy and the SEALs. Those in the presidential palace, the prime ministers, I'm talking to you, the train drivers, pilots, students, you know, the dons, academic dons, all those. I'm trying to tell you people, whatever you're doing, please make our time to pray. Reason as you pray and pray as you reason. By doing that, you're trying to garner concord, agreement, you know, for various forces that make up your genetic being, spiritual being. You're trying to bring harmony among your body, soul, and spirit. Prayer could give you purpose. The wise one says, watch and pray. Watch, be observant, observe nature, physiognomy, anatomy, psychology, economics, law, legality, environment. Watch them pray. Prayer is very, very important. It shows a belief in a force greater than man. It shows respect and honor to the active force or forces that were before your creation or your formation that are now as we are existing now and that will still be when we are gone. 
prayer is a mark of respect. It's a door opener. It's a key to the door of glory. It's a key to the door of salvation. Prayer is a direction. It's a map that really leads you to start, you know. It's a map to your destiny, to your direction. Look at all the great men and women. The greatest achievers we know. But 99.9 of their lives might be spent in socialization. But 0.1% is always given to spirituality. Watch and pray. Prayer is very, very important. Psychologically helps you to relax. Help to know that, yes, someone is in charge of you. Someone is supporting you spiritually. Someone higher than you is overseeing your welfare. Prayer is very, very important. Prayer educates. Prayer elevates. Prayer helps you to overcome that that frustrates. Prayer culminates into prosperity. Once you're working hard and you're praying, yeah, relatively, you're going to be prosperous. Work very hard and pray very hard as well. Work as you pray and pray as you work. Because in a way, prayer is work and work is prayer as well. But when the two are combined, produce a synergy, something bigger than prayer and work. And that's what I call success, salvation, victory. May you receive that victory. May your days be successful. The blessings come your way. May you watch as you pray. May you pray as you watch. May you be patriotic to the cause of divinity. May you not destroy yourself. Above all, praying helps you to discover the inner you, the you that makes up the you in you, the core of your being, your essence, your quintessential. Yes. The rural part of your mindset, the bucolic, the local. Yeah. Prayer helps you, you know, to begin to see life from different dimensions. Prayer helps you to become considerate. It makes you to think about how did we come here? Who are we? Where are we? When are we? And why are we? And helps you to begin to meditate after here. Where will we be? Look at all the great men and women that were here making noise a few years ago, a few moments ago. Soon you look for them, you don't see them. People will, I know, attribute lordship to People will call queen, kings, prime minister, president, superstars. So look at the flower, like flowers. They just blossom and they fade. Yet eternity remains. Eternity has not got a scratch. Ask yourself questions. Why am I here? Who am I? When am I? How am I? After here, we are next. Why was I introduced into this age, into this era? Why didn't I come 300, 500 years ago? Or the next 500, 1,000 years to come? Why was I introduced in this age and era? Ask yourself this question. Then you realize that you're not alone. You're not a byproduct of accident. It didn't happen by chance. You're a byproduct of divine purpose, divine destiny, predestination and predestination. Someone, somehow, somewhere, you know, ordained your existence, planned, organized, and release you to experience reality and glorify that authority, that power, that source, that spiritual entity. We are spiritual beings existing in physical body. The earth, the world, the sphere, the universe is a gift to us to experience reality. It's a gift to partake. It's a, it's a gift to admire. To be courageous, to be grateful to the you know, to the powers, authorities of the supreme force. So don't live ungratefully. Don't live carelessly. Appreciate every moment, every hour, every day, every second. Appreciate your problems. Appreciate the men and the women, the circumstances that brought to you. Appreciate your disappointments. Because those who made it die. Those who didn't make it die. The poor die. The rich die. Life is full of ironies. Recently, I was asking questions, one of my meetings. I said, is it better to be a poor and healthy man or to be a sick and rich man? Most 
most of the poor people I know that are very healthy. But most of the wealthy people and most of the rich people I know that are very, very sick. You need to ask yourself, why is life so unfair? It's so unfair to those that don't understand the temperaments of destiny, purpose, preordination and predestination. Everything, everyone has a right to continuity. That's why everything is striving to continue. But environmental forces, destiny and purpose are the limitations, our aspirations. I want you to pray. Reason as you believe and believe as you reason. Science is good, but religion as well is better. The combination of science and religion is the best. With that, we can really work towards discovering the purpose or the reason why we are created. I wish you joy, I wish you happiness, I wish you self discovery, I wish you serenity, I wish you tranquility, I wish you prosperity. Above all, I wish you eternal salvation, which you've been promised to us. If we live well, believe well, do our best with the little hand we are dealt with, and glorify Almighty God, the one that called us all into existence. Thank you for being part of this wonderful journey. I'm happy to meet you in life. I'm happy to encounter you. I'm very, very grateful. May you be blessed by this message. Look around you. Look at the flowers. Look at the men, the women. Look at the sea. Look at the ocean. You know? Look at the sexy sun, sunshine. Look at the lovely day. Imagine, you know? You know, listen to silence. Embrace the wind. Look at the smiles, you know, of the young babies. Look at the movement of strangers. Look at the speed of life, the patience of eternity. Look at the perseverance and the persistence of time. Admire all these things. Be grateful for who you are. Be grateful for all you have. Be grateful for all you don't have as well. It could have been worse. But above all, realize that you're not a byproduct of accident. You're a byproduct of higher and divine purpose. And that purpose and intention is good. If you understand, all things work together for good to them that love Almighty God. But to love Almighty God, you have to love yourself. You have to love your neighbor as well. And you have to do unto them as you want them to do unto you. We appreciate God. We say thanks be to your name, O oh God, for all these blessings. God bless you. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for being simple.